Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to evaluate a square root function. We have f of x equals minus the square root of 25 minus x squared. And we have to find f of zero, f of negative three, f of four, and f of negative five. Let's carefully work through this solution. Let's start with f of zero, so f of zero. F of zero means we want to evaluate f at the x value zero. So we look at our formula for f of x, which is negative square root of 25 minus x squared, and we replace all of the x's with zeros. So this is minus square root of 25 minus zero squared, which is equal to minus the square root of Zero squared is zero, so we just get 25 minus zero, which is 25. And the square root of 25 is five. So this is equal to minus five. So f of zero is equal to minus five. Let's look at f of negative three. Again, we replace all of the x's with negative threes. In this case, there's only one x. So it's minus the square root of 25 minus and then parentheses minus three squared which is equal to minus the square root of minus three squared is positive nine so this is going to be 25 minus nine which is equal to minus the square root of 25 minus nine is 16 and the square root of 16 is four so we just get negative four so f of negative three is equal to negative four. f of four, again, replacing all of the x's with fours, it's gonna be negative square root, and then it's 25 minus, and instead of x, it's four. If four squared, this is equal to negative square root, 25, and then four squared is 16, so minus 16. 25 minus 16 is nine, so this is equal to negative square root of nine, and the square root of nine is three, so we just get minus three. And lastly, we have f of negative five. This is equal to negative square root 25. Again, we're replacing all of the x's, except this time with negative five, so it's minus parentheses negative five squared. When you square negative five, you're gonna get a positive 25. So this is equal to negative square root 25 minus 25, which is just gonna be zero. So it's negative square root of zero. Square root of zero is zero, so you get negative zero, which is just zero. So f of negative five is equal to zero. Hopefully you've learned some mathematics in this video. If you feel like you have, make sure to check out more videos. Until next time, good luck.